Yo, what is up there guys of the Wiz back at it again for another video with some more Disney's Amphibia right here right now So let's get right to it. All right, so the latest episode <laughs> Gave us a little bit of that plot. It's been a while since we've actually had some plot over here The first time we really had plot was well, you know Basically the first episode where Anne has entered the world of Amphibia has made friends with spring And we also find out that you know Sasha is actually being imprisoned by some frog guy and most likely Marcy is somewhere in the world of Amphibia as well, but we haven't seen seen her one little bit so since then we've been basically having some little playful stuff here and there and adjusting to the world of amphibia and introducing like you know her world stuff to spring and the gang little playful stuff here and there which is obviously going to be really important a lot of people might just kind of consider it filler but let's be realistic here we got that character development that growth is definitely going to play a big part in this show seeing as how like the premise of it is you know Anne is going to discover her first true real friend because we've seen from Anne's friends that she already has Sasha and Marcy they're not really the greatest examples of friendship however we have finally reached that point where I guess Anne can trust her froggy friends and she introduces them to the box that led her to the world of amphibia now spring and the gang basically you know they kind of play clueless like ah, I've never seen this thing before in my life or whatever except except whoo -hoo, your good old boy hop pop keeping secrets from us apparently he actually knows about the box but for some reason has denied it to Anne some wondering hmm what's going on over here already we kind of got people you know comparing grunkle stan to hop pop they're both old they're both <laughs> like you know money hungry this and that but most importantly they have secrets that they are not sharing with the rest of the crew which also makes sense because i do believe the people that are uh, created amphibia also worked on gravity falls so you know you got that little connection uh right there but nonetheless we see hop hop in the studies and he opens up the book and he does see the box now i'm wondering is this the same book that he's been carrying around recently like his family book if it is and hmm maybe this could be something within the family which would be really interesting because you know going back to gravity falls gravity falls the whole big secret thing you know was the journals and over here we got the books and you know the journals ended up being the family thing and you know hey maybe this one could also be a family thing as well but regardless it could be just be another random book or whatever because we do see that he is in his studies looking for it but i only think family because we've seen from time and time again if you've been watching all the episodes that hop pop always goes back to like you know that family history this is how we get it done this is the recipes we do generation to generation stuff like that so it wouldn't really surprise me if that's the case however let's actually go ahead and take a look at the pages within the book itself finally we have a title for the box and it's known as the calamity box we do see the three gems over there danger destroyed which i'm going to assume is a frog skull we've seen a few frog skulls here and there in this show <laughs> oh my god yo this show can get crazy and people say this is just for kids but you also have the big you know beware logo over here so all right time to go ahead and put our thinking caps on right now so number one you know the skull with the destroyed thing i'm going to assume as though maybe the power of the gems is too much for a frog and whenever a frog tried to use it it ended up killing them so hmm wow so how did the box ended up going to you know the human world maybe the frog was so desperate he's like all right i'm gonna make the sacrifice play so we can get this box out of the world of amphibia which makes me think oh man there could be like you know a serious real bad guy uh within this world that we just don't know about over here we do know about the guy that is guarding sasha but you know that could just be like a lackey or something but i don't think so he kind of gives you that presence of like yeah this is bad guy territory over here but nonetheless of course you know it says beware beware of the powers of the box but it makes you wonder um if the frog died how come Anne, sasha and marcy survived well i'm going to assume once again the gems are just too powerful for frogs but when it comes to humans uh they can actually handle it as a matter of fact if you recall you know i made that little video before uh talking about the secrets of the box and how most likely Anne and her friends actually have the powers of the gems because if you go ahead and look back at the first episode where Anne was fighting that praying mantis thing you can see her eyes are blue which is most likely you know uh from one of the gems there's three gems there's three human friends so each one of the girls has the powers of the gems inside of them which would explain why the gems are now white they're still there but they definitely lost its color slash ability yeah, but since this is a music box i'm wondering if they're gonna have to like you know sing some type of uh incantation or something eventually later down the line possibility over here but i mean there's not really much else 
we got going on here. We know it's called the Calamity Box. We know that this is super dangerous uh, when it comes to frogs in general. But apparently, again, I'm going to assume it's not 100% confirmed. But most likely, Anne and her friends are going to be the only ones that could actually use this box without getting destroyed. Which, ooh, makes it kind of sad if you think about it. Like, what if we have Anne and, you know, Spring separate? This means technically Spring can never go to Anne's world because, you know, this thing is going to kill him. But, I mean, Anne can always go back to uh, their world. So, you know, not a real issue over here, but oof, I can see a lot of crazy things happening over here, especially when it comes to the drama. You know, Hot Pop's keeping this a secret, and we all know <laughs> when it comes to secret, those things have a way of getting out. So, you know, is Anne going to discover it on her own? Is she going to find out by somebody else? You know, the trust that she had with Hot Pop and him not telling her this, ooh, could break the relationship, so she's going to go with her friends and just like, oh, oh my god, again, this show's about, like, you know, the real friends in life. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that could go down here. So, guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, hey, the calamity box what do you think its purpose is do you think the gems are inside uh each of the girls and you know destroyed with the frog what do you think it means do you think you know the gems are just too powerful for frogs or is this just like you know a little ooh, watch out don't touch this because it'll kill you but in reality it won't something like that so guys if you like this video make sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up as that really helps me out you're already you can follow me on twitter same thing as my youtube channel which is ed the Wiz. i am also on instagram which is mad swag one two three four five where i post all the good stuff so until next time my dudes i'm gonna go ahead and say Bye, pal!